awesome. Produced on a budget of $60,000, this campy science fiction horror film from notoriously awful director Ed Wood saw limited general release in July of 1959, where it languished in obscurity for almost 20 years until authors Michael and Harry Medved dubbed it the worst movie ever made. Originally titled Grave Robbers from Outer Space, the bizarre film opens with a curious fourth wall breaking introduction by the amazing Chris Well, a well known and flamboyant psychic from the 1950s who continually addresses the audience as my friend. The weird and unique plot follows a group of citizens from a small town that finds its dead being resurrected by invading aliens in an effort to stop humanity from developing a powerful bomb. In a recording discovered by the American military, the orbiting alien commander humorously remarks, how could any race be so stupid? Did you hear anything? I thought I did. Don't like hearing noises, especially when there ain't supposed to be any. Yeah, sort of spooky-like. Maybe we're getting old. Whatever it is, it's gone now. That's the best thing for us, too. Gone. Yeah, let's go. The unrated film incorporates an insulting posthumous appearance by the original Dracula himself, Bela Lugosi, who was included in the film by way of random silent footage shot years earlier for an entirely different film. His inclusion here, and his promotional billing, is so brazenly misleading I'm amazed Wood got away with such a cheap ploy, especially since Lugosi's integration into the script is so pointless and cobbled together. Beneath the irritating and unnecessary narration from Criswell, we're witnessed a clumsy and overt exposition that routinely brings the story to a grinding halt. On par with a first year student film project, the picture features blatant production mistakes, cheap props, and rigid editing. Wood's boring and unmotivated direction doesn't help either. Every actor delivers their lines with the energy and urgency of a cardboard box. His definition of a well-framed close-up sees the actors from only waist high. 55 years old or not, the special effects here are downright embarrassing. As the Red Hot Chili Peppers once famously sang, space may be the final frontier, but it's made in a Hollywood basement. And in the case of Plan 9, it really looks like it. Couple that with some really unforgivable lighting inconsistencies and you're left with a technically inept experience on how not to produce a motion picture. The loud and sporadic amateur sounding music and sound effects, like roaring wind and the vacuum of space, don't help much either. There is, however, a somewhat coherent sequence of events and some almost interesting concepts in a film that thankfully is only 79 minutes long. The moral of the story is ultimately nothing more than a thinly veiled protest against nuclear proliferation with goofy costumes and hokey effects. Like some disgusting Ripley's Believe It or Not exhibit, this movie is amusing only as a curiosity, so awful that you're unable to look away. At least the first time, anyway. Plan 9 from Outer Space. Dreadfully incompetent production. Famously bad. Let's see what you had to say about this Ed Wood movie in the YouTube comments. Plan 9 from Outer Space, a 1 and a 2. Lamenting the bad effects, acting, and sets, you found no reason to spare this film from the lowest score, ranking it a garbage. There's an undeniable quaintness to this picture, and Wood's passion for filmmaking somehow resonates despite his many missteps. And when you consider the time in which it was made, is it really a total failure? I'll be slightly more forgiving and only score this a bad.